I'm starting off with my brows already on and they're already on because I've been liking to carve them out and that just takes way too long to do on camera. So hi. Anyway, we are going to prime now and I've really been liking this Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Oh, bitch. It actually is like super nice. And I just rub that all over. And I already did prime my forehead because I put like foundation on my forehead already to like carve out my brows. So, and my skin is screaming at me for putting on more makeup. But, but here I am. My dog is barking in her sleep. Anyway, do you guys like my new setup? I feel so professional. I'm like obsessed with it. It actually makes me like want to film because before I would hate my setup and I would have trash for lighting. I also do need to get new lighting. I swear I've gotten like 20 different lights. <laughs> yeah. Like it literally just is like, oh, this will be good. I get it. Not good. And I'm like, okay. Now I'm using the Banana Bright face primer also from Ula Henriksen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how I hear all like the makeup gurus pronounce it. So I think I'm doing something right. My face gets super oily in the summer, super dry in the winter. So I guess it's like kind of combo, but this really helps, I think. Also, yes, both my nails, my pointer finger nails are missing. I forgot to do this for my brows, but I used the NYX eyebrow gel and now I'm just, or the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. No, e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Now I'm going to use the NYX brow gel in blonde. So since we are going for really glowy skin, I'm gonna use this as like an under, like a base for my foundation. This is the True Match Lumi Glotion, and I'm going heavy handed with this. Okay, not that bad, but you know, we're gonna be glowing is all I'm saying. Keeping that on the lower half of my face. Because again, I have foundation on me forehead. Maybe a little bit more, <laughs> a lot more. Okay, moving on to foundation. I am taking, like always, my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This recommend. However, my neck is always darker than my face. I'm gonna be mixing. I know I'm getting pretty crazy today. I'm gonna be mixing this LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. <sighs> yes, it's pretty dark for me, but we're going in just a wee bit. Just a, a, a wee bit. <laughs> Maybe like that. Too much. Whoa, it was whatever. Okay, then we're gonna pump that over it. Four pumps. Four solid pumps in there. Mix it in. All right, we're good, we're good. I'm not gonna say it's too bad. That is a glowy base if you ever saw one. Wow. Taking my Morphe Y6 brush, I believe this is now an M6. However, same thing. Anyway, blending that in, dragging it everywhere. Doing circular motions, tapping motions, whatever works for you. Gonna drag it like by the ear and also down the neck. I'm like really hunched over. Oh, my back hurts. Putting it on my eyelids as well. Not doing anything too crazy with the lids, but we will do a shadow, but I'm just going to use that as a base. Okay, there is now the garbage truck right outside. So anyway, going right back in with that LA Girl Pro Conceal. I say that so, you know, like if you hear a noise, it's the garbage truck. Anyway, we're going to be contouring with that. I look like an oily mess right now. Wow, can't say that often. Like I said, I do have dry skin for the most part. And I also said I have oily skin in the summer. Just don't listen to me. Anyway, contouring my forehead under my nose, my cheekbones. I am drinking this Bang Energy drink and I'm feeling it right now. I was like, why is my left arm tingly? I'm just kidding bad it's not anyway contouring my cheeks so bringing that all the way down bringing it up a little bit and recently i've been really liking to do this with my eyelids just contour my lids a little bit we're going all in for this bronzy look taking an elf stippling brush and blending it out i'm a little bit like heavier handed on this because i don't really care because you can always clean it back up with some concealer that's why i like to put it on before i conceal I do blend the cheeks out by like kind of tapping first and then slowly blending them. So now that that is blended in, I am going for my concealer and this is the concealer I have been reaching for all the time. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use just a little bit of this. This one, Super light. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. A lot of people use this as well. I'm going to use the ColourPop one everywhere I would normally conceal, which is under the eyes. My Cupid's bow. 
a little bit on my forehead, tip of the nose, and hardly any on the chin. Okay, and now I am just ever so lightly. I don't even know if I should do this. This is already pretty light. Dang, whatever, just a dot, dot. I like a really highlighted nose in Cupid's bow, so I guess I'll go there too. Oh my God, that is so white. Anyway, whatever. I'm just gonna blend it out with the same brush. And it's going on top of my eyelid as well. And whatever's left over, I'm just gonna use to dab it a little bit and kind of help outline my jawline. In person, it's really not that bad, but holy crap, I look like a clown on camera. Okay, now for my favorite part, I'm gonna be baking. I have been going for my Airspun loose face powder ever since I got it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm just taking a sponge, baking like crazy. As you guys can tell, I'm already really oily, which like I said, kind of surprising. I get, I said in the beginning, I get oily in the summer and I usually get oily after a couple hours of wearing my makeup or just not even makeup, but just sitting around for a couple hours. But I usually don't get like this oily right away. So I'm definitely going to focus on baking. Oh my God, look at how smooth it just went on my forehead. Wow. Blending it out a little bit with the contour. Also setting my eyelids, making sure to set my eyelids. I hate that like oily lid look, that's disgusting. So while I let that bake, why is this just like one spot right here? Okay, while I let that kind of just sit and bake, I'm going to be going in with this Rude Cosmetics palette. I forgot about this and I was looking for the blush and I found it and I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking this contour color right here. It's a really warm, rich contour color on a BH Cosmetics angled brush. Don't know, I got this like forever ago, but we're just gonna slowly blend out and set the rest of that contour slash bronzer moment. I have the biggest mustache ever right now. Wow, okay. Again, just tapping that in right away. And as you guys can see, I'm kind of bringing this bronzer like closer to my cheek and that helps kind of make it look like I have like a suntan already. A suntan, just a tan in general. Cause this is pigmented, like it really picks up. I did not realize that. Really look like a cloud. I'm acting like I know exactly what I'm doing, but just kind of go with the flow. I really like to make sure my nose, I don't really contour my nose, I just put bronzer on it. So I pretty much just tap that all over it. I think that really helps you make sun kiss, make, yeah, that really helps you make, helps you look, wow. Helps you look sun kissed. Wow, Hannah, get with it. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So like I said, I really like this Rude palette. So we're gonna be going back in and using this blush right up in the top hand corner. Top titty. Anyway, and I'm gonna be taking a Real Techniques blush brush and really going hard with that. Going over my nose like I did with the blush or the blonde bronzer. I cannot talk. I'm having a stroke. Good enough. Now we are going to set our face with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray. Up the nose, wow. Moving on to the eyes. I think I'm gonna be taking the James Charles palette. Like I said, this is something bronzy, kind of smoky glam. That's what I'm trying to go for. And I think I'm going to be taking the color Punch Me on the crease and just going, I need a mirror here. Kind of going heavy handed right there. Not a big deal if it's messy. Oh, where's the color? There it is. Wow, I like this color a lot. It's really light, but it actually gives you some really pretty depth. Almost kind of just dragging that like all over my lid essentially, just to get it as gradient as I can. To be honest with you, I like how it looks right now. Anyway, we're just gonna add a little bit, a little bit of darkness to the crease. And by a little bit, it's probably gonna be a lot because I'm no professional here. I'm gonna be taking the color T in the same palette and trying to ever so lightly deepen up the crease as we blend that baby out. Oh, 
I like it. I like where it's going. Now for the moment of truth. Going in with Spooky, AKA Black, making a liner, a wing liner with eyeshadow. What else could go wrong? Try not to be too perfect, cause if I mess up, oof, that's what happens. I'm gonna say like close enough. I'm just gonna like keep adding to it, blending it out, see where life takes us. I know this wasn't part of the game plan, but I just went for it and I really like it. I literally put that same black eyeshadow on my waterline and I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm gonna be taking like kind of a really flat brush, like kind of fluffy, you know. Also taking Punch Me again, going in there. This will kind of help blend out the black so it's not so harsh. And also bring it a little bit dimension, kind of smoke it out. Again, going for that bronzy glam. Okay, I added a wee bit of mascara while I have my lashes dry. Sam and I'm putting on lashes. Anyway, I need a glow. So I'm gonna highlight. And for that, I'm gonna use this Sam Marcel palette. I'm gonna use this gold right here. Put that, hello. Put that on the inner corner as well as a touch on the brow bone. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, next I'm gonna take this Cover Effects palette. This is the face palette. I always go for this for the highlight. I'm gonna take this color. It's like more of a champagne color and blend it out into my bronzer with a really flimsy brush because I like how it gives you more of like an all over highlight, like a really good bronzer, you know? And it's not just one solid line. Of course, you do what you want. Quickly, I'm gonna be taking this Saint Marcel liquid lipstick in Celine. It's more of like a pink. I don't know how I feel about this, but I am gonna put like a really light lipstick over it, so. Oof, well, it kind of matches my shirt, so. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit quick and then take this NYX Simply Nude Lip Cream in Honey. Now I'm just gonna add some lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, so that is the end of my bronzy, smoky glam, whatever you wanna call it. Let me know if you guys do like videos like this. I love doing my makeup. I've recently kind of gotten back into doing makeup and I absolutely love it. So please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it, as well as do not forget to comment down below if you did. I would love to know. That just really helps me know that I should continue to make more. Also, let me know if you have any questions about my routine or something like that. Like I said before, I am not a professional. Don't claim to be, but I kind of know what I'm doing. So anyway, if you guys did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said, also go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, just at Hannah Garski. I am way more active on my Instagram. You'll probably see a picture of this look up on there too. I also let you guys know when I'm going to upload and stuff like that. So if you're interested in my schedule, just go ahead and follow me there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.